Welcome to the course of Wireless Sensor Network. Today, the topic for discussion is Medium Access Control. And this is lecture number 13. And I am your instructor, Zishan Bangash. So let's move to the outlines of our today's discussion. So in today's discussion, first of all, we will be discussing the need for medium access control and the two techniques or the two types of protocols that are to be used or that exist in literature that are the contention free medium access and the contention based medium access. Then in the second part of our outline, we will be discussing some wireless MAC protocols, uh, carrier sense multiple access, and MACA and MACA W, and then the MACA by invitation, followed by the IEEE 802.11, that is the Wi Fi protocol, and then the Zigbee architecture. Or and the Zigbee par, uh, protocol for medium access and in the last part of our discussion we will be discussing some characteristics of MAC protocols in a sensor network so let's move to the first part of our discussion that is related to the need for medium access and the two different types of the medium access protocols so multiple uh, nodes we already know that they share a communication medium in order to transmit their data uh, in a wireless environment so the there is need of a medium access control protocol and that is again we know from the concept of OSI model uh, that is the data link layer which is the second layer of OSI model and uh, it this MAC protocol is that second layer sub layer protocol and the responsibility is basically to regulate and control the access to the shared medium the common medium between different devices uh, again the type of MAC protocol uh, and the choice of that MAC protocol has a direct impact on the reliability and again the efficiency of the network transmission so we will be discussing this point in the upcoming slide that uh, particularly at the end of our today's discussion when we will be discussing some characteristics of MAC protocol and we will be discussing these issues particularly for wireless sensor network which is a resource constrained network. So the challenges in wireless uh, network as a whole are the interference and the uh, errors that is inherited because of the wireless nature. And uh, again, we will be discussing in the upcoming slide the two problems which are the hidden terminal and the exposed terminal problems. And similarly, when we consider wireless communication, so the other concerns are the signal fading, the uh, simultaneously medium access by many nodes, uh, where in case of WSN, this is more vulnerable because there are thousands of sensors deployed. And then the asymmetric links that is the links communicate or the there is no bidirectional communication there is no unidirectional communication so these are some of the issues so let's discuss the second layer of OSI model uh, which is the data link layer so this data link layer as we already have discussed and we know it from the concepts of uh, basic networking course that is the course of data communication and network that this second layer data link layer has further subdivision into a logical link control and a medium access control so you can just look at the OSI model shown on this slide 
now this data link layer has category has division into a logical link control and a medium access control now the mac layer uh, is as you uh, know its position that it operates directly at the top of the physical layer so it has interface to the physical layer and it have interface to the upper which is the network layer so apart from that physical layer interface so it is more closely related to the physical medium so we can assume that it have a full control over the medium and some of the functions of the mac are to decide when a node when and uh, when that node has to access a medium and if there is any conflict between different nodes to how to resolve or, uh, resolve it so this is also the responsibility of that mac layer so other uh, features involve the uh, correction of communicating errors that's error correction uh, that happens at the physical layer and uh, the frame addressing and the flow controller these are also the some of the responsibilities of the data link layer uh, or it's basically the functions of the medium access control now when we see the medium access control categorization so it has been divided into two different protocols based on their type that's the contention free pro protocols and the contention uh, based protocols and then the contention free protocol is again subdivided into a fixed assignment and dynamic assignments and then we have some uh, protocols in each subcategory so we will be discussing uh, these protocols in the upcoming slides so let's discuss that the mac protocol provides a medium share approach that only one device access the wireless media at any given time so in case of contention free mac protocols the medium is shared and the mac protocol basically uh, is responsible to access that medium in a controlled way so in there is a restriction that in if the protocol type is contention free so only one device will access the wireless medium at any given time so it's further divided as we have already seen in the diagram into a fixed and a dynamic assignment cases so what is fixed it's basically uh, that these slot reservations are fixed however in case of uh, dynamism dynamic assignment classes the slot reservation are always on demand so in order to avoid collisions how it can be done that the collisions can be avoided by allocating the resources to the nodes such that each node can use its own resources so the resources have been divided in this case in, among different uh, nodes so in that way collision can be avoided so contention free mac protocol uh, and uh, uh, its further subtypes in case of fixed assignment uh, the first protocol is the frequency division multiple access uh, what is this that is divides into several frequency bands we already know this concept this FDMA from the basic network course knowledge and which can be used for data transfer between a pair of nodes and then the other nodes could potentially interfere with this transfer using a different frequency band so we already know this the second fixed assignment contention free protocol is the TDMA which is the time division multiple access and that allows multiple devices to use the same frequency band but again a slot is assigned a periodic it uses a periodic time window which is often called frame so we already know this concept as well so consisting it consists of fixed number of transmission slots so the number of slots are not infinite there are fixed number of there is a pool of slots to in order to separate that medium access from different devices so the the scheduler schedules a time schedule which shows that the that every node has to transmit data at a particular slot or at a particular time so it have some advantages that uh, there is no competition or contention contending the nodes have not to contend 
to access so there is already a slot assigned and that is, uh, that node can use that slot at a particular time thereby the collision automatically is avoided however there are some limitation that the uh, that that the topological changes uh, then uh, there needs to be rescheduling and in case of silos uh, sensor networks the the it's basically uh, a sort of uh, unattended environment where the topology changes more frequently so it so this limitation uh, has impact in case of the viral sensor networks so the uh, so that so if this tdma has to be used for wireless sensor network so it has to change its network topology accordingly and accordingly this schedule has to be revised and that's a resource uh, computation oriented tasks so it will uh, consume more computation so i think that uh, cannot be feasible for a wireless sensor network uh, tdma protocols uh, can be inefficient uh, in their bandwidth utilization when the slots are of fixed size however when and when slots are located to a node are not in use in an every frame iteration so this is again a restriction that if you have been assigned a slot to a node and that node is not using that thing that there is a wastage of bandwidth and the resources and the third uh, contention free uh, fixed assignment protocol is the cdma and uh, code division multiple access is basically use different supporting using different codes uh, that the wireless mediums are supported using different codes and uh, if these codes are orthogonal then it is possible for the communication to share the same frequency so again the same frequency is used uh, by different nodes uh, however each node will be having will be given a different uh, code in this case so where forward error protection that the receiver is again used to recover from interference among the simultaneous communication so this this code division multiple access uh, provide an effective way of uh, error correction uh, forward error correction at the receiver end uh, in case if the if the same frequency is used by multiple nodes however each node have a different code uh, fixed assignment strategies as a summarize can be inefficient that uh, again it is typically uh, not possible to reallocate slots belonging to one device to other device if not needed in every frame so wastage of bandwidth as we already have discussed in the tdma the if the slot has been assigned to a node and it's not using it so there's a wastage and again another uh, inefficiency is that generating schedule for the entire network can be a taunting task and in case of wireless sensor network that will be a very challenging and resource utilization task and the third thing is that this, this schedule once made will require modification every time the topology changes and or the traffic characteristics in the network changes and uh, uh, and a limited resource uh, network like WSNs cannot afford this. So let's discuss the second contention free protocol, which is the dynamic assignment strategies or the protocols. And uh, again, it avoids rigid allocation by allowing nodes to access the medium on demand. And then, in a pooling based protocols, a controller device. Uh, which is a base station it issues uh, pooling frames in a round ribbon fashion and asking each station it if it has data to send so if a station has no data to send the controller pulls the next station 